Rosemary Taylor died in May of 2022 while in custody following an altercation with the Alexandria Police Department. Louisiana State Police is currently investigating Taylor's death and a lawsuit has been filed by her family. But today, several gathered in downtown Alexandria for a rally demanding justice for Rosemary Taylor. Colin B. Jones was at the rally and has more. No justice, no peace. The rally for Rosemary Taylor included a walk to the Rapids Parish Courthouse with those in attendance demanding answers, transparency, and accountability for those connected to the 39-year-old's death. They're, they're, they're not working with us or they're not working within the law to find out who killed Rose. Isn't that simple? Isn't that simple? The lawsuit by Taylor's family made earlier this year claims that Taylor was at the Siegel Select Hotel on MacArthur Drive when two APD officers, Brian Frost and Matthew Frost, approached her. Apparently, a struggle ensued with Taylor allegedly pushed onto the hood of the police car multiple times, eventually being handcuffed and taken to the jail for drug charges. While at the jail, Taylor asked to go to the hospital, but APD officer Alexander Helminger allegedly signed a written refusal that Taylor didn't want to be treated. Two days later, she was found unresponsive in her cell, and after she died in the hospital, an autopsy revealed she had an adrenal hematoma and blunt force injuries. A pathologist ruled it a homicide. Taylor's uncle, Robert Jordan, says this rally again reinforces that they will not forget Taylor, and they will not go away quietly. We're demanding something get done. And if they don't, then we're going keep, to keep, keep the noise, and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and until something gets done. So if it takes national media, we're going to keep going, and the crowd's going to get bigger and bigger each time, but we're not going away. What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! According to the family and friends of Taylor, justice would mean prosecution for the people involved in Rose's death. Just to, just to get them to say, this person killed Rose, and we're going to prosecute this person. I think that's the way our justice system is supposed to work, isn't it? LSP is investigating and has had the case since April of this year, 11 months after Taylor died. I believe in doing things right, going straight, going by the book. But what do you do when the book is not right? What do you do when the person who's supposed to be straight is not straight? In Alexandria, Colin Vidros for News Channel 5, your local station.